Hi dear friends welcome back to curious vet I am Dr Mohsina today we will see the second uh, condition causing equine lameness so this is the second video of the playlist equine lameness today we will discuss about pyramidal disease in horses so what is pyramidal disease it is the fracture of extensor process of the distal phalanx it is also known as buttress foot so let's go to the details So pyramidal disease is the fragmentation of the extensor process of the distal phalanx you can see in this uh, x-ray picture very clearly the extensor process fractured in the distal phalanx So before going to the details of the disease I just want to show you the basic hoof anatomy or the ba- basic distal limb anatomy in equine Here you can see very clearly the uh, first phalanx second phalanx and the distal phalanx and uh, the extensor process is on the top of the uh, distal phalanx so pyramidal disease means the fracture of the extensor process of the distal phalanx and in this uh, in this diagram the extensor process is marked very clearly you can see the distal uh, phalanx and the extensor process so pyramidal disease or, or buttress fru- foot means the fracture of extensor process of the distal phalanx coming to the etiology thought to occur due to trauma osteochondrosis or presence of separate centers of ossification Coming to the clinical findings fore limbs are more commonly affected than hind limbs the fracture fa- fragments are usually intra articular but are commonly non displaced and they may be adhered to the extensor tendon so the fractured fragments are commonly non displaced and they are usually intra articular and sometimes adhered to the extensor tendon The fragments may be incidental findings but they may also cause lameness. Here you can see the picture of the limbs affected with this condition buttress foot. So as the disease worsens the shape of the hoof changes significantly and become narrow and square the close the, the close association of the extensor process with the distal interphalangeal joint can result in secondary arthritis if the fractured fragments are not removed so if the fractured fragments are not removed it can lead to secondary arthritis because of the close association of the extensor process with the distal interphalangeal joint then uh, how this disease is diagnosed it is by mainly by x ray radiography here you can see an extensor process fracture here in this x ray very clearly this is another picture this uh, radiographic examples of a small chip on the left side and a large fresh fragment on the right side and the x ray you, you saw be in the last slide uh, is having a much more large fragment fractured coming to the treatment fractures uh, can be removed either via arthroscopy or arthrotomy that means the fractured fragments should be removed uh, to avoid the secondary arthritis and arthroscopic removal of the f- small fragments carries a good prognosis
with large untreated fractures and enlargement of the toe region just above the coronary band is usually present which results in the buttress foot or pyramidal appearance of the foot so because of the pyramidal appearance of the foot caused by the untreated fractures this disease is called pyramidal disease or buttress foot also systemic anti inflammatory medication may be beneficial so that's all about pyramidal disease or buttress foot or extensor process fracture in equine so this is a very important clinical condition causing lameness in equine so uh, just remember what is the condition that is the pro- uh, fragmentation or fracture of the extensor process of distal phalanx and if uh, the fractured fragments should be removed by arthroscopy or arthrotomy otherwise it uh, if if the fragments are removed there is good prognosis but if it is not removed it can lead to secondary arthritis so if the video is useful and informative please like it and share it with your friends and comment your suggestions if you are new to this channel or watching this video and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video see you soon with another video thank you